You see? It's my chromosome. So I'm just not designed for long-term monogamous relationships. Your chromosomes, right. Well, that's a new one. Chromosomes. How about you, Eddie? And you down as a classic gibbon. What? Yeah, ignore him. I think I'll take the stairs. See you later. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, the Boise camaraderie, you mean? Oh. I love it. It's like being in my very own episode of Grange Hill. Hey, I meant to say to you, thanks for last night. All part of the service. Have you spoken to him yet? Not spoken. We hissed at each other. Oh, hi. I can't really talk now. Tonight? Well, it's going to be a bit tricky tonight. I'm not giving up on this. It's just... I don't think it's working out, that's all. All right, we'll talk tonight. See you then. Bye. Well, you're a dark horse, aren't you? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I wish you'd tell me about these things, Eddie. I'd tell you everything. Who is she? Oh, it's, uh, it's nothing serious. You might at least try and sound enthusiastic. I just don't think it's working out. Poor woman. Oh, you know how it is. Treat her mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you do, don't tell her that you love her, but just as a friend. No one wants to hear that. And don't forget tomorrow. I know. Your party. Not a party, just drinks. OK. Tomorrow. Stick it in there. It's not working. You're right there. Yeah, yeah. Just avoiding mad Alice. Oh, well, you will break the golden rule. Sex in the workplace. Don't shit where you eat. I'm not proud of myself. I think you probably are. All right, hmm. Eddie. Oh, um, party tomorrow, yeah? Not a party, just drinks. Oh, right. Um, because Luke was asking if you could bring his fiance. Who's that then? Nothing, forget it. Tomorrow then. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there. Christmas is over, but still the goose gets fat. <laughs> Want to see something funny? <laughs> What's that? It's a fat boy's slimming drink. You're kidding, Eddie's. <laughs> and what are you doing? Watch the door, will you? It's protein powder. For building body mass, as recommended by Russian shop putters everywhere. And you're swapping them over? Oh, yes. Since when? Well, a couple, a couple of weeks. Of weeks. Huh? It's an experiment in human nature. How long will he keep taking the stuff before he realises it isn't working? Well, probably when he gets jammed in the lift doors. <laughs> you callous bastards, aren't you? I prefer to think of myself as mischievous. And sometimes you've just got to be cruel to be cruel. What? You don't think it's funny? Yeah, I suppose so. Think Eddie will find it funny? Of course he will. Why wouldn't he? See you. Neil, 
So we agreed not to meet. <laughs> if you're not going to return my phone calls, what choice do I have? Everything all right? Just the postman. Kettle's on. Oh. Cafe down the road. Give me half an hour. OK, half an hour. Are you all right? You look really tired. Anything good? What's from the postman? Oh, no. Nothing today. He rang the bell to tell you there was no post. I know. Mad. <sighs> what can I say? I feel terrible. Yeah, me too. Just awful, completely awful. A fantastic marriage, blown to bits because of one stupid mistake. You sound like my mother. Are you going to eat your bacon? Degrading, seedy affair. Neil, you made your point. You didn't seem quite so appalled at the time. Well, of course not. You know how I feel about you, Katie. It doesn't mean I don't regret it. I just thought Matthew would get over it, that's all. Like the flu or something? Yeah. Me too. Got that bit wrong, didn't we? So can I have that bacon or what? I don't suppose he's forgiven me by any chance. Wouldn't have thought so. What if I call him up, went for a drink, talk things through? He'd stab you. I'll leave then. Shame. I miss him a lot. Yeah. Me too. I miss you as well, Katie. Not a good time to flirt, Neil. How's your wife? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Pretty good. I think she's forgiven me. She likes to have a dig about it every now and then, and you're still not a favourite person, but in a way, it's kind of got things out in the open. It's a bit like when you've got something caught in your throat, sometimes all you need is a really good, hard cough, and you're fine. Lovely image. Oh, sorry. Uh, look, Sarah doesn't know I'm here, so don't tell anyone, all right? Our secret. Uh, and don't phone the landline, just the mobile. And if I hang up, Sarah's there. All right. Mm. Oh, and don't email me. She reads my emails. <laughs> and my letters. Um, best let me phone you instead. Neil, I promise I will never, ever phone you again. Mm.